Samplify lets you connect pre-screener questions with custom logic so you can refine your sample before it reaches your survey. Let's take a look at how the logic works with three questions that I've already written. In this example, I'm looking primarily for price-sensitive grocery shoppers, but I'm also interested in those that focus on convenience or nutrition. My first question is designed to broadly classify what kind of shopper our respondent is. This is a single selection question, which means the respondent may only select one answer. By default, each answer has go to next page selected for its logic. Choosing any one of these answers will take the respondent to the next page of our pre-screen. In this case, page two. I'm most interested in price sensitive shoppers. So if they select that, I want to take them directly to my survey. I'll choose screen in for my logic here. Flavor, the environment, and brands aren't the subjects of my research, and I'll select screen out for each of them. Both screen in and screen out logic will immediately end the pre-screener. Any further pages will be ignored, and the respondent will be redirected to your study or asked to look for another survey, respectively. That leaves us with nutrition and convenience. I've written a question about convenience on page two and one about nutrition priorities on page three, but I don't want to ask any of my respondents both questions. To have respondents that selected nutrition jump straight to page three, I'll use skip logic on nutrition and choose page three as my skip destination. My convenience follow-up is on page two, so I'll leave this options logic on go to next page. Down to page two. This is a multiple selection question. Allowing the respondent to select more than one answer, this gives us more options for our logic. Each of my answer options starts as D for default. And if we follow the line down, we can see that we can choose what the default action does. For this example, I want to screen in all respondents except those that select all of the answer options here. So I set screen in as the default action and check screen out for each of the answers. But if I left it like this, and my respondents select one or maybe a couple of these options, they'll screen out. That's not what I want here, though. So to fix it, I'll click the group selection box above the screen out column. Then only the combination of all four answers will screen the respondent out. Finally, let's take a look at my nutrition question. I've already selected my logic here using a group selection to require a combination of answers four, five, and six to screen in and putting screen out non-grouped for the other answers. But what if a respondent selects four, five, six, the group to screen in, along with three? How does Samplify prioritize conflicts in logic? The rough order is screen out is the highest priority, then screen in, then skip to a different page, then next page, and finally default as the lowest priority. So in our case, the respondent would screen out because screen out is the highest. We list the complete action priorities here, but the best idea is to test your pre-screener. Testing your pre-screener is easy. Just click the preview button and Samplify will pop up a copy of your pre-screener exactly how respondents will see it. Just click through the path to make sure the logic is screening in who you expect it to. And once you've completed that, test again for screen outs. Currently, you can't modify your pre-screener once you've launched your project. So please give your pre-screener that extra test before launch.